Hello, I'm Heather from the Custom Wig Company, and I'm going to show you the proper way to take a head tracing for having your custom wig made. First, you're going to take a piece of plastic wrap. Any brand will work. You're going to cut it to be just a little bit longer than your head measurement, so probably 28 or 29 inches. Would you please put your hands up and hold that to your forehead? You're going to wrap or have someone wrap it around your head. You want to make sure your hairline is covered front and back. It should come below your ears, down to about your eyebrows. And it's very important that it be as flat as possible. You don't want any bulges in it because this is what's going to let us shape the front of your wig to fit you. You can take your hands down, please. Go ahead and pull out any wrinkles. Make sure all of the hair is covered around there. You want it to meet and overlap in the back by a few inches. And you're going to pull and flatten the part on the top of the head, making sure all hair is covered and minimizing the bulk. It's important that all the hair is covered because you're going to cover this with tape and you do not want to tape onto your hair or have someone else tape onto your hair. Once you are sure the piece is flat, secure, and the bulk is minimized, you're going to take a piece of clear packing tape and you're going to secure this top down right up here. Then you're going to take a long piece and you're going to start in the front and you're going to pull it around. You want it to be fairly tight because you don't want the saran wrap to move and again we're trying to shape the forehead so it's very important it follow this line carefully. You're going to take another piece from the back. At that point the entire circumference of the head should be taped. You can see that it does not want to move or slide off. That's very important. Next I like to do one from front to back. Right here all the way to the back, and then ear to ear. I'm using wide packing tape. You can also use clear cellophane tape as long as it is transparent. You're going to cover the plastic wrap with strips of tape, overlapping them slightly. You want to fill in the top of the head back in small pieces, and then you want to fill in the front of the head and the hairline also with small pieces. You want to use small pieces so that you minimize any wrinkles or bulges in the tape in order to get the wrap to lay as flat and smooth as possible across the hairline. Taking it all the way down onto the forehead. I'm taking it over the ears and along the temples or sideburns right there. And again, the sideburns, the ear. Check, make sure you've covered everything. If you feel any spots where you have not gotten tape, just go ahead and add a little bit more. Final check. Yes, very good. Then you're going to take a permanent marker, preferably in a color that is contrasted to the hair underneath it so you can see it. You're going to start at the front. You're going to draw the hairline. And I'm making marks that actually travel in the direction of the hairline so that I can see how it grows when I'm replicating it. This is better than just drawing a straight line down the, the shape. I'm following it all the way down to the sideburns. I'm indicating the ear. Following it up here. Now, if you don't have a hairline, or if your hairline is not where you want the hairline on your wig to be, once you've roughed this in, you can then draw in the desired final hairline. This is very useful if you want the hairline to be lower than your own hair or if you want to add a widow's peak or some such thing to it. It's best to draw that line in a contrasting color so we can tell which one is which. Again, I'm going to follow natural hairline. I'm going to indicate the sideburns start here. Don't worry if your hairline is asymmetrical because we can true it up when we put the wig on. Once you have the hairline, the nape, the ears drawn on, you're going to write your name on it, the date. You're going to make a mark at the top of your ear on each side so we can line it up. Mark there. You're going to put a piece of tape over that so it doesn't get rubbed off. Again, just to prevent it from getting rubbed loose. And that's how you do the head wrap. You're going to take it off very carefully. It should pull off. There will be a little bit of resistance, but it should slide off easily. 
and you have a plastic tracing of your head with your hairline and all of the relevant markers on it.